Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link in the description box below this video. And uh, also, if you would like to become a member of my channel, just click the join button. And with that, it's $2.99 a month. You get the coolest little um, emojis. You get to be a part of the Virgo gang gang. And yeah, pretty cool. Get um, also to join our um, House of Virgo group on, I believe it's Signal or is it Group Me? <laughs> I think the link, link is in there. Welcome to Keith Butler. Thank you for becoming a member. All right, you guys, so let's get into this reading. I feel like doing a Celtic cross today. So give me a second here. We're going to see what is showing up in your life past, current energy, what's coming towards you, and the far future. Okay. Hmm. So past position, the magician, you have the current with the six of cups, the high priestess as the obstacle, which driving you is the knight of swords, what's crowning you is the nine of swords, coming towards you is the six of swords, position of you is you, <laughs> position external to you others or another person the seven of cups hopes and fears you have the ace of pentacles and the outcome is the page of swords okay bottom of the deck page of cups so some sweet communication love messages coming towards you in the well the rest of this month for sure um the last two weeks there will be some kind of um communication from someone expressing love expressing um affection it's very mild it's not too intoxicating it's the difference between a glass of wine and a shot of whiskey <laughs> you know it's the bubbly feeling it's um a feel good feelings communication you may also be receiving apology from somebody coming up soon now the past position you do have the magician so it looks like in the past you set your intentions um, you took some kind of leap of faith or some kind of risk prior to this. And um, it looks like you made a decision in some regard to lay all your cards out on the table or put something out on the table here. Um, your feelings, your thoughts, your plans, and the actions that you are going to take in your life. Okay, maybe you did that at the solar eclipse, new moon. Let's see. Okay, you've got the death card. So... Looks like out with the old, in with the new. So some kind of decision you made in the past or something, you, you let go of something or you started something new, a new adventure beginning. Um, and it has to do with, I feel mostly like you started over with something or maybe somebody. Let's take a look. Now I know <clears throat> I did say yesterday, this might be Narc Week. <laughs> like shark week i call it narc week and i said that if you know if that's the way it was going to go then we're going to talk about that but I'm not seeing that happening here so maybe that's good a little reprieve um so it looks like the king of wands in your past so you might have walked away or ended something with a fire sign or started something in the past with a fire sign whether it's recent or a long time ago but i do see they are showing up very significant the present energy you have a reconciliation with someone you have some kind of reunion <clears throat> what's crossing you is the high priestess so this is an energy of kind of like not being too sure trusting your intuition or having trouble trusting your intuition going forward let me get a clarifier card for the high priestess um obviously with the high priestess in that position it's a benefit for you to trust your gut but um might be a bit of an obstacle connecting hmm i think you might have some visions of grandeur um i feel like the message here is to stay grounded to stay very grounded but trust your gut if there is some kind of reconciliation or you are someone from your past is returning which is present, which is what I see. Um, it is someone who um, is reminiscing about you, thinking about you. They do have very kind, there's a kind energy towards you, um, sincere energy. But you are, yeah, it's a little bit of 
I just, they keep saying, um, maybe you have someone on a pedestal, um, or you are trying to figure out, like you might have some, I, so they're telling me ideal ideologies about this, about a particular person from your past or a relationship, an idea about that, wanting that reconciliation, but maybe, hmm, seeing through rose colored glasses or looking at this, trying to see, um, the reality of it, but you're, I don't know, I feel, usually the high priestess in the upright is not cloudy intuition, but I think you might be thinking that your intuition is telling you that something is real when it might not be. You know, maybe trying to convince yourself that this something is good or it's tangible. I feel, and we're gonna get to your advice, but I, I do see there is somebody returning in the present into your life to some degree now. You're in a rush to make some kind of lifestyle change going forward. I, I, I do feel like that. You're in a hurry. But with the Nine of Swords crowning, you're stressing about this as well. Should I or shouldn't I? So I kind of feel like you're, you know, during the day you're a go-getter. You know what you need to do. You're thinking clearly. You are taking action. You're moving very swiftly in your communication, going after what you want. But at night... You, you, you go right into this nine of swords. Like, why did I do something? Why am I, why am I, what am I thinking? Or maybe I made a mistake or maybe I rushed too soon into something here. Okay. So there's a little bit of disorganization in your thoughts because I feel like one minute you feel like this perpetual motion to make something happen or to go after something. But at night, there's this damn it why did I do that you know what I mean um so I feel like in the current energy be mindful of this uh try to stay grounded that's that lo that looks like what you're trying to achieve but it's a little difficult now you do have the king of pentacles in the position of you and that is always be in your element Virgo stay grounded okay um don't take on too much burden in regards to this energy Okay, because it's a struggle and it might be, I feel like you're doing too much or you're taking on too much in your work life or your career or around the house. You're taking on some heavy burden. I do feel like if you use your practicality, um, your logic, be pragmatic in your life and the decisions that you're trying to make in your life, um, you'll, you'll be, you'll get to a place where this burden will be over. Okay, as far now, so if as far as a relationship goes this could have something to do with you feel like you are uh taking on too much um you might need to back away i feel the advice here is uh back away allow someone else to if you want someone to take the lead you got to back off <laughs> and allow them to come into that position of taking a lead position you you know um, if you're doing something, if you're doing things for everybody all the time and then get mad at them for not taking initiative, well, why should they? Because you're doing it all. So stop. <laughs> stop, damn it. Stop. Stop doing the dishes all the time. Let that MF or clean up their own dishes. So I, I just kind of feel like you need to back off a little bit here. Um <laughs> You might be having, this is so crazy, because now we go into the humor. You might be having these visions like, I wish this damn idiot would do their own dishes. Look, here's the plate. Go ahead and wash it. No, somebody needs to start taking some action and making or taking initiative. And I feel Virgo, you know, Virgos always want to be the ones to take initiative because sometimes they can be impatient and, and, and most of the time because they know what's right. They don't want to wait for somebody else to figure out what's right or how to do something. Virgo, I feel like your advice here is to stop carrying the weight of whatever this is, this whole thing. Allow someone to take initiative. Give them, the, create that space for them to come forward into. Okay. So you have someone external to you that's ghosting um, or is in some kind of fantasy, fantasy uh, mode here. Uh, maybe non-committal or doesn't know what they want or they have a lot of options here. Let's see. They're not committing to something. Um, you've got someone here that is having a good old time. 
it's happy hour for you know whomever it is but the other energy too if it's not a person is just virgo just relax have fun don't commit to anything and maybe um just kind of be a little bit unavailable and maybe for some of you get out there and date or be around people like your friends however in a relationship situation i feel like you've got somebody here who is doing just that themselves and um they're maybe having a good old time they're not very serious about a relationship or anything like at this time and maybe you're the one who's trying to make something like get them to commit or make them commit to something um and you're not going to do that if you're the only one you can't make like you can't lead a horse to you can lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink you know what i mean um but i don't think you should try to be leading anybody anywhere i feel like for you virgo if there's somebody that you really want to try to connect with um allow them to have some space because i feel like if you're carrying all of the relationship then of course they're going to just go and have a good time because they have no accountability and no responsibility to the relationship because you're taking care of business you're taking care of the whole thing you're paying all the relationship bills virgo you know you're you're like i'm doing it all and um yeah so i feel like this person if this is your person is pretty much like oh i can go out and play because you know it's kind of like a, a a child a little bit who's living at home and isn't having to pay any bills and having to do uh do anything because children don't typically pay bills but they might not even be doing chores i don't know but it, whether it's a child or somebody in your life it's similar to that person who's just kind of living off the fat of the land and rather than uh contributing to um kind of pay back all the graces they've been given they're just kind of like yeah i'm not doing nothing i don't really i'm just going out and having fun i don't really need to do anything here so um that's kind of uh not cool <laughs> okay especially if it's an adult if this is an adult that you're dealing with um no okay so yeah your hopes and fears so you hope someone will invest or see that what they have here is a good thing you're hoping the opportunity will come forward that this person will pitch in perhaps or invest in you or make an investment in the relationship or in some way um, make an offer of some sort um, but you do have a fear that they won't and i can tell you um part of you wouldn't have that fear um, the only reason you have that fear that they won't is because you know that they're not going to because you're taking care of everything. You want someone to, to wash that plate. You know what I'm saying? You want them to wash that, to, to take up their end. And, you know, you, you're hoping that they're just going to come in and be like, hey, uh, here's the plate. I'm going to wash it myself. Do you know what I mean? I'm going to take care of this. Uh, so the outcome, you have the page of swords. Okay, let's see. Okay, Page of Swords and the Eight of Swords. I like this outcome. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Hmm. The Tower. Okay. I see. I see. No, I do like this outcome. So, basically the message is you, you reduce from the Nine to the Eight. So... Virgo, Virgo, I, I think you're going to um, roll over and play dead with this person. <laughs> That's what I feel like is going to happen. Um, and what I mean by that is, aka, pull your energy back and create a space for somebody here to initiate what you hope they wish would want them to start doing. Um, now, I, I don't know if that's like the way to go. But it looks to me like rather than um, asking them questions, like why they're not, quote unquote, doing the dishes, why they're not contributing, I think you're going to roll over and just play dead and just be like, oh, I'm sorry, I couldn't initiate today because I'm dead in the yard. <laughs> I'm, an, I'm inactive. 
Yeah, and I feel like that's going to be kind of, even with the tower, it's like unexpected. Uh, it's not something, you're going to surprise yourself. It's not something Virgo w would normally do. It, it's kind of off base for, for you, Virgo, to take your hands off the wheel and just... Listen, let me give an example, right? They just showed me this this little moving image in my mind. If you're driving down the road and you're, you have your hands on the steering wheel and your passenger is sitting there next to you, your passenger is going along for the ride. Sure, maybe they put gas in the car, but they're going along for the ride. Virgo, imagine if you took your, if you're heading down the, you know, the road, it's pretty fast speed, and you took your hands off the wheel. What do you think your passenger would do? They're instantly going to grab for the wheel instantly they're going to start driving do you get it yeah that's kind of what i feel like is is the energy here you're stressing because you want someone maybe to take the initiative as well take the lead make a move make some kind of change but then you wind up doing it and then you're stressing about it because it didn't solve anything you just swept something under the rug for somebody maybe this has to do with your kids or it could it could also have to do with like um uh, someone that you love, right? Or a love relationship. No matter the outcome, I, uh, you know, no matter the situation is, I feel like you need to roll over and play dead. Yeah, that's, and what that means generally is just not be available. Let the dishes pile up in the sink. Let that person grab the wheel. It's a risk. And it creates kind of like, look, this is what the person's going to think. If you take your hands off the wheel, they're like, ah, give me that wheel. And they're going to grab it and start taking the lead here. Hmm. Very interesting, Virgo. Very, very interesting. Let me see what your... <clears throat> Let's take a look at your love messages here. You can't do everything. For those Virgos who are trying to work on some control issues, Jesus, take the wheel, man. Let it go. What was that um, turtle's name in... Uh, oh, geez, that Disney film... You know, with Dory. What the heck was the name of that film? I forget now. It was right on the tip of my tongue. I'm losing that short-term memory, I'm telling you. Um, the Turtle. I forget his name, too. But um, Crush. That was his name. Crush. You got to let it just kind of be like Crush a little bit. You know, like ride the wave. Just let it happen. With this potato. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> it was a twin flame. Yeah. Uh, some of you are struggling with this twin flame thing. Because you're... You Listen... I feel like this connection, obviously, it's a divine counterpart connection. Um, this person has not fully evolved, and you're keeping them from evolving, Virgo, by trying to direct their evolution. You have to let go. You have to give them that opportunity to make change. And there's no guarantee that they will. But there is a guarantee that you'll be less stressed if you do that. Um, it could be a friendship as well for some of you. Okay? This could be someone that you're dealing with that is just a friend that you're trying to... Or it could be a sibling or, a, a, you know, your kid. Somebody you're just trying to take over. You're more or less being the director of the, the film here. Um, but that doesn't work in a relationship, any kind... There has to be um, two people playing the role together, right? Right. If one person is directing or dictating, um, then it's then that's what it is. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Release. Radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And I feel like that's your message here. You need to let go of that wheel, you know? Um And that means stop doing everything for somebody. Stop stop doing everything. Don't cook for somebody. I don't know what we're getting into here, but don't cook for this person. They're not your kid. They're not your child. Even if they are your child and they're adult, they got to take care of themselves. Okay, don't pay their bills. They got to take care of their business. Don't enable someone here to um, not have to contribute to this connection, this relationship, whatever kind of relationship it is. 
And there's also this thing about, you know, people want to contribute. People, pe the people that want to contribute want to contribute. They don't want to be the one. They, because people, pe the reason people contribute to something is because they want the appreciation for it, right? And they want to help. And they want to be part of a team. You know, if you're part of a team and you have um, someone who's doing everything, people tend to feel like, well, what the hell am I here for? What do you want me for? Why do I need to be here? Why am I here for you if I don't get to contribute? Yeah, so I know this might sound a little harsh, like I'm telling you that you're a controlling person. I don't think it is that case. I think it's more that you have wisdom and I think it's more along the lines of like, you know, as all Virgos do deep down, the right way to do things. And I think you want it done the right, the right way. And if this person isn't contributing um, or if they don't get the chance to, you're gonna dictate it and then you're gonna enable them that you can't be mad at them if you're gonna take on that role, correct? You know, you can't be the director of a film and they get mad at the actors for not directing the film if, if, if that's the role you're taking. But I feel like your advice here is to release the burden. Mastery. Yeah, you are a master of things, Virgo. You are. It's true. I know so many Virgos that are a master. They've mastered many talents, many skills. Um, the spiritual lesson here to be mastered is to let go and, and allow, allow people or allow this person to begin to uh, contribute. And, and also the other thing too is Virgo, and someone really wants to, they will. And if they don't, that might be something that you need to find out as well. If this person uh, letting go will t and s what, seeing what other people do will tell you a lot about their investment in the relationship as well. Okay. Some of you, there might be, um, you might find... Oh, no, 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 no. This is rejection. This is you need to reject, right? That's what I'm talking about. Reject doing everything for someone here. Um, you know, if this is somebody new that you're connecting with or a romantic relationship, um, let them contribute to the dates of the places you're going to go and the things you're going to do. Don't be the one. The, the advice here is don't take on the burden of being the one to always set the plans make the plans and tell this person what they're you know to dictate all the time yeah financial challenges are affecting this connection um if you're doing everything virgo you're gonna go broke i'll tell you that unless you're rich and don't dismiss red flags here this person might be having some financial struggles and that might make you more inclined to want to take care of everything because they're having financial struggles um, sure, you can help out a little bit, but this is an adult. And if an adult is having some financial struggles, um, then they need to either rebudget, stop spending, take on another job. Everybody's having problems in, in financially in the world, right? Okay, so it's not your job. Um, unless this is someone that you're married to, and this is a, um, a relationship where you're both struggling financially, still we still need to support each other but it takes two people to make something work here so you gotta let that person do their side of the work and while you're doing yours i, I don't doubt that a virgo is going to be lazy i've never met a, a lazy virgo they always have something going on they always have like a bunch of irons in the fire to some degree um they're always doing something and if a virgo is falling down on hard times still find a way to make the money they always do so I don't really feel like this is so much about you um, as it is about whomever this person is that you're connecting with. Okay, the past returns, yeah. So I, I, that's a double confirmation that this is someone from your past that has come back or is coming back into your life, okay? Whoever it is, whether it's love, family, friends, okay. So your message here, <laughs> time to go. Um, for some of you, if this person's coming into your life, returning into your life, the message here is you need to tell them, yep, you need to get going. You need to start taking the lead here. And you do that by, you know, backing off, letting them. And if they don't, you need to tell them to get out. <laughs> right? Because, like, it takes two to tango. We both got to be in this partnership together. We both have to contribute, not just one person. Right? Um, okay. 
Okay, regret in the reverse here. Have no regrets, Virgo. If you need to, um, I don't know why I keep having to say this, but there is a Virgo here that I hear. It's like, I don't know that I can let go. I'm afraid of A, B, and C happening if I let go. And um, I'm here to tell you that I don't, I feel like that's just your fear and, and fear is gonna keep you stuck. Okay, emotional wish will be granted. Luck is on your side, the wheel of fortune. I feel like this is gonna work out for you if you uh, allow this person to show up the way they need to show up. And if they don't show up, um, well, there's your answer, okay? Then you, then you can take it from there, okay? So you have self, interesting. Take a look at yourself, add up the pros and cons of who you are, balance things out, reconcile yourself to accepting who you are, as well as those in your life, in your heart, acceptance is key, don't beat yourself up, don't beat others up, live and let live, right? So that's pretty much letting go, living and live and let live. Um, people will show you who they are when you let them, okay? And one last one here. All right, this has something to do with a secure home or having or something to do with a home or where you live or somebody moving out, find, securing a new place for themselves. Could be you, could be another person here. All right, let's get into, I want to see what the Chinese sign is of this person that you are connecting with. Some of you might not want to date someone because they don't have their own place. Okay, year of the rat. Maybe you want to wait. Uh, year of the rooster. Okay, year of the pig. Year of the horse. Year of the ox. Year of the snake. There's a rooster again. Year of the goat. Year of the dragon. Year of the pig. Said that already. And year of the tiger. Wow, interesting. Okay. Next, who initials, names, zodiac sign. Okay. Someone's name starts with a T. Uh, someone is 49. I'm going to slow it down for you, Steve-O, because I know I, I go too fast. Sorry. Uh, we have the letter A, August 24th. September 18th, September 2nd, um, the letter D, the letter M, as in Michael, um, I'm also hearing Milton, um, and uh, I just heard you're going to have, there's communication in the, in the DM, it goes down in the DM. <laughs> Somebody's eating dim sum. We have the letter L, letter T, letter C. There's M again. Okay, Halloween. Significant, significant day. Halloween. Um, someone's a private investigator. Diana. I just heard or Diane or Dion or Di. Uh, 1984. Okay, the letter E, um, August 25th, someone is 51, 66, 60, someone is 32, 67, September 12th, the letter Y, September 11th, nope, that was a Z, Z-A, just heard Z, Z, A. This is the start of somebody's name. 1989. We have the letter O. Yo. Someone's 42. And we do have August. All the August Virgos in the house. It's for all of you. Uh, August 23rd to the 31st. We have Capricorn, Libra, Leo, and Cancer showing up here. Okay. Now let me see if there's anything else I can pick up. Um, Virgo, I just heard, don't be late. I don't know what that means. You have a morning appointment. Make sure you put it in your calendar or that you put an alert or an alarm. Don't be late for this. I don't know what this is, 
But whatever you do, do not be late because it's the only chance you're going to get at something, at this thing. I don't know what that is, but um, <laughs> somebody's listening to Ar Run DMC. What? <laughs> Run DMC. Uh, or something with Run DMC. I don't know who the guy's names are. I know one of them passed away, I think, but something's coming up with those guys. Maybe in the news or, I don't know, maybe it has to do with that P. Diddy stuff going on. Oh, God, I hope not, because I love Run DMC. They were great. Um, <laughs> I, okay, I just heard Montana, and I heard Maine. Okay, and uh, New Zealand, and um, Orlando, and um, Denmark. They're just saying Denmark and um, Missouri, okay, and Cincinnati, Connecticut. Okay, very interesting. Let me get a couple of charms here for you. Steve, I hope that that wasn't too fast. I tried to slow it down a little bit. All right, Virgo, someone is going to be trying to saw open your heart because <laughs> it looks like you have your, you have a, you have a heart locket here. So maybe you're trying to get a, like an actual heart locket opened, like the key is missing. Okay. Um, so you might be trying to use a saw or a pin or trying to pry something open here. You have a little saw, but this can also represent someone is trying to get through to your heart. You threw away the key. You have a, you have some kind of lock shell, metal shell covering over your heart. No one's getting in. Um, they're gonna have to use a goddamn saw to get in. <laughs> I'm just hearing, and someone is trying to get through that shell that you have. Not sure what that means there, but it could be figuratively or literally something to do with a heart locket. It's trying to open it up. Open up the heart. Okay. Somebody's got a diamond for you, Virgo. There's a diamond coming for you. Remember I said there was an engagement? Yeah. You're going to be receiving one. Or someone's going to be telling you like you're like a diamond to them. You shine bright like a diamond. There's something about a diamond. Also, you could have a connection with an Aries. Very significant connection with an Aries. Um, and you also have a sea turtle here so you know sea turtles represent longevity to me um and we were also talking about crush from what is the name of that movie just keep swimming just keeps come on you guys why do i have these brain issues i'm gonna look it up because i can't i hate that i can't remember i know you guys are all typing it i can't see what you're typing And it's the simplest thing. Finding Nemo. Yes. Okay. I'm just an idiot, I guess. I don't know. It's maybe still an age. Like the, the littlest things. <laughs> Does anybody experience this? I'm out here by myself. <laughs> it's the littlest things. The tiny little details. I just lose it completely. Um, anyway, I need to start playing chess or doing some more like mental agility games or something. Um, just keep swimming crush what does crush say yo ride the wave dude just let go just let go of trying to do any dictating telling anybody what to do allow people to contribute now if you got someone that's super super controlling in your life you need to let go from that person i feel like somebody's a little passive quite honestly um they may get more controlling if you're trying to tell them what to do and they may rebel and go the opposite way which is pretty passive aggressive um but generally people don't like to be told how to live their life so you have to set some kind of boundary of some sort um or to start doing that at this time so yeah that was kind of short and sweet i'm going to leave that there for you and then again if you want to get a personal reading click the link in the description box below please become a member of my channel i would love it if you did that and um also if you join my website the link you just have to go to my link tree you'll see the link under the under the video go to my link tree click on my website and you sign up with your email and you can get instantly a free twin flame ebook will go right into your email will come to you instantly so do go check that out 
everything you need. I know some people are like, how do I get a reading? How do I get to your website? Everything is in the description box below. Every single thing that you need. Take a minute to look at it. It's all written out there for you. And there's even little directional symbols that take you right where you need to go. Okay. All right. Thank you to the mods. I love you guys. Thanks for being here dedicatedly every single night. I am so appreciative of you guys for always being here and keeping the chat smooth and welcoming everyone. I have a great, probably the greatest mods I've ever had, seriously, in, in all these years. So, all right, you guys, um, I'm going to let you go. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys, thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.